My expectations when I graduate from here is to be able to find a better job with my skill. I started studying um, Python. Of course, it was challenging at first. And using Python for data analysis, especially when it comes to teaching the deaf community, I've come to see the passion and the interest it uh, you know, brings towards the deaf community when they learn and I feel proud about it. And I am very excited when I am coding in Python and this has made me to learn new things and I'm hoping to learn more. My motivation actually to join this training was to learn and have a better understanding and improve my knowledge on tech and learn new things. To have a deeper knowledge about tech and how it can help me. Help my life, my future, and my aspirations. Uh, we started a Deaf in Tech in 2022 um, as a response to bridging the uh, economic gap uh, with persons with dis for persons with disabilities. And our focus has been on the Deaf community, which we have found to be conspicuously lacking behind in terms of uh, um, uh, the amount of job available for them due to their disability. Gender intersecting with disability puts the deaf women way, way behind than even the deaf men. So if we don't specifically do something for the deaf women, we'll be increasing that gap that economic gap and so our focus was to get more women and we're glad that it worked in this cohort we have about 86 uh, percent of this current cohort as women as against what we've been having in previous cohorts i studied computer science at the university and i've always had that passion to teach other deaf people because truly deaf people need role models people who will be able to you know teach them in sign language motivate them to you know improve their skill and inspire them to be able to pursue their desired goals 